Hello, uh, Triple Agent Gamer here. I'm back um, with another Tom McDonald reaction video of one of his newer songs, which I really like. In fact, well, actually, I like his last two songs beautifully. I mean, Tom McDonald, he's just one of those guys who just, uh, each song that he does, the one before that, versus the newer one, the newer one, you know, he just does better and better. I mean, this guy just keeps stacking them up and keeps improving himself. And just improving himself and improving himself and improving himself. I mean, this guy, I mean, if, this guy should be considered a legend already. I, I mean, seriously, I mean, with his work ethic when he does his music, and when he does his street you know, like, he'll, he'll go on binges where he'll do, uh, every, uh, every single week he'll do, for like six weeks, he'll release six songs. One song a week, you know? And that's just Tom Thumb, you know? And then he'll stop and he'll send out his albums that people order. Or he'll take his time and he'll uh, do his girlfriend's videos. Which, actually, I think that, that that right there is actually phenomenal. And that's just adorable that they each do one another's um, uh, videos. He uh, actually records her music videos and Nova records Tom. Uh, music as well. That, man, that is just a, that's just some of the great relationships and just based off of that. I mean, Tom and Noah, they seem like they have great uh, teamwork. Anyway, this is a, a Tom McDonald reaction video by Triple H Gamer here, so smack that like button and subscribe and like the, or feel free to uh, share my music, to share my videos. I also do uh, by social media, by web link, whatnot. Help spread the word, subscribe, smack that like button. Uh, I also do uh, video game walkthroughs, which I am. Right now I'm going on a streak of doing music reaction videos, but I'm going to continue doing the uh, video game walkthroughs too. But this is Tom McDonald Fake Book, which was released one week ago. Actually, almost two weeks ago. And his last song was six days ago, uh, Cancelled. But we're going to do Fake Book. And yes, I know what he said, it, but I was kind of shocked. But we're going to get into it. Tom McDonald, Fake Wolf, reaction video by a triple good gamer here. Let's get this started. I've taken an awful long enough time. I think it's crazy I'm the one who they labeled as controversial when Cardi B is the role model for 12 year old girls. So I just push this head to the top of the billboard. But if I mention race in a song, I'm scared I'll get killed for it. It's backwards, it's getting exponentially dumb. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. And in that new. Wow. Oh, wait, what the heck are you going to say about him, man? Um, you know what? I'm going to let this finish. Just the game back. What the heck do you say about him, man? Guess how to trail. Wow, okay, um. Eminem doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump. Okay, well. Okay. His song that he did, Best Rapper Ever. Okay, I. Um, you know, he talks about when we you know in that scene where he's in the shower and hit and then Tom McDonald again, you know, but it's his supposed to be his, 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 his demon self, you know, the himself representing his demons, telling them that you're not Eminem. Okay, okay, look, here's the way I look at it Tom, he looks up to Eminem, he's always been inspired by Eminem, but they, well, Tom McDonald is. Freaking like, uh, he's like Eminem, he's not afraid to call people out, and while at the same time he just called out the guy who he looked up to, who he's inspired by. And while that is true, uh, Eminem did say that, which, you know, I understand why, he's, why he just said that, you know, it's the truth. Tom McDonald, he said, screw you. I'm going to speak the truth, and you know, there's an old saying of people of this world that people don't like the truth. And there's some people who don't want to or are, or un, or are unwilling to accept the truth. 
And that's what Tommy McDonald just did. I mean, he did say that. That is true. Basically, you know, he called out people who voted for Trump and when basically... Yeah, Eminem did do that. But then there's another thing of, uh, you never want to diss the white boy, Eminem. So, um, actually, I'm kind of curious about what Eminem's going to say about this, if he's going to say anything about this at all. And maybe it'll be a year or two. <laughs> yeah, Tom McDonald reference. Um, until we see his response. I mean, Tom, uh, Eminem, he's been known to kind of take a while, and then he's like, oh, hey, remember that? Here's my response. But who knows? Um, but he just said that. Um, so, I think maybe he's kind of split. I mean, I still think he's inspired by Eminem, especially, like, the old school Eminem. I mean, but Eminem can still spit hard. You know, like Venom? Oh, my God. Now, that was a good song. Eminem, Venom. But, you know, like, yeah, let's get back into this. Now he doesn't want fans to be voted for Trump. <laughs> well, it's true. Wow, okay, the cancel culture runs the planet now. Well, that is true, you know, you say one thing and people don't like it. Oh my god, it might be because of racism. I mean, Look at Roseanne, okay? Wow, she called someone a monkey. Okay, um, well, if a minority person had called someone else a monkey, they would have gone off a lot easier. It's just the way it is. I, I, I mean, and it's, well, you know, excuse my language, but it's fucked up. It's true, he just spoke the truth, you know, it's the cancel culture. Oh, you I didn't like what you said. Or you said something that might be considered racist. I, I, okay, I mean, like I said before, you know, with uh, another song, uh, the Adam Calhoun uh, racism song that I did, the my reaction video of that, you know, and also a uh, white boy, Tommy Noda white boy, you know, what makes a person in America a white person now? You know, we're so diverse, by which is a very good thing, and but now it's turned into everything. Everyone's pulling the fucking race card. And, well, I have said before, too, and I'm going to say it again, um, it pays to be a minority in America. I mean, I'm a minority as well. Um, I mean, I'm not black, but I'm Hispanic. I'm uh, Paraguayan. I'm uh, Paraguayan Indian. I want an E. I'm a little bit of white. I'm, I got some Irish in me. Uh, Etc. You know, uh, basically, I'm human mutt. Um, you know, he just spoke that up right there, so we're gonna wait. Yeah. No, no, let's go back. Our phones are present, you know, that's a pretty true statement. Well, <laughs> well. I love the beat of this song. Wow. There's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate. Yeah, uh, just because, um, oh, I don't like what you said. So I'm going to categorize it as hate speech. Uh, Tom McDonald, right on. Right on. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. He, he, once again, just like in the Tom, people so stupid and buttholes and, uh, and his last song, Cancel, it's good, he's speaking the truth, and thank you, Tom, please never stop speaking.
speaking the truth, and please don't put a filter on yourself. It, it ab- no. Of course, I highly doubt Tom's going to do that. Of course, of course he's not going to do that. Keep it up, Tom. It's just, damn, he's... Everybody's racist! And fuck the social media. Fuck the freaking media. Fuck the news. It's, just, uh, it's one side is Republican, the other side is Democratic. Seen as Democratic, Fox Pro is mainly more towards the Republican side. MSNBC, um, neutral, maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, but it's true. It's, man, Tom, huh, keep it up. Keep it up. Wow, wait, 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 wait. Black Lives Matter? Okay, I think Black Lives Matter is the stupidest name when the system's screwing everybody. Wow, thank you, Tom. Thank you. I. That's what I've been thinking. Um, I'm sure there's thousands and thousands of people in the U.S. who've been thinking the same thing, you know, but the media is like, oh, a white man gets shot, a black man gets shot. Let's go focus on the black man. Um, okay, okay like, Okay, there's this another rapper that I like, uh, like I did his song, uh, Racism, Racism, Adam Calhoun, you know? He said, he, he uh, did a video called, Which Black Lives Matter, you know? Uh, and, and he also did another uh, video of his input on the George Floyd incident. But you know what, you know what, I'm not, that's what I'm going to talk about right now. Um, for example, there, right around the time that George Floyd thing happened, you know, um, there was another... There, there was this little boy who, um, in another state, but in the United States as well, right, who was outside of his parents, or his dad's house, you know, his, or his parents, um, outside playing, riding a bicycle, right, right around the same time, right after, or during the whole thing of the George Floyd, right, with the police. Hey, George Floyd died. Well, this little boy who was outside playing, and this um, African American, this black guy, is walking down the street and whatnot. An adult, right, pulls out a gun and shoots down and kills this little black boy. Okay. Now, uh, you know George Floyd. He had drugs in his system. Uh, he had a record of uh, sex charges, etc. But the media made a big deal about him, but not even a freaking word, or maybe just this much compared to like 6,000 miles worth of freaking George Floyd. Right? But nothing. Maybe so little, but not enough. No, don't even count it if they even covered it at all. You know? Didn't even make national news. Nothing on that little boy. Meanwhile, George Floyd gets a. What? Like a $75,000 funeral and a. $25,000 casket? Where's the $25,000 casket for that little boy who died? So yeah, like Adam Calhoun says, and I'm going to add it on here, which black lives matter? What about all the, um, for the last, what about all the thousands for the last, ever since abortion has been legalized and actually before that, what about all the thousands of black babies that have been aborted? Do their lives matter? So you tell me. I, and in fact, I, I would like to know which black lives matter. Seriously, it's. <sighs> screw you, media. Screw you, Don Lemon. Etc. Oh, wait, I can't say that because he's African American. Yeah, uh, no. No. I'm not going to be can't that. Screw you, Don Lemon. Anyway, let's get back on it. Wow, 
wow, nature's so divided, uh, liberals, Republicans, etc., riots, riots against the police out on the streets. You, you just want to spend time with your family and have food and your belly, but you can't fit everything so divided. You know, well, um, I remember, well, of course, Trump's left now. He's left the White House. Biden's in. Um, but, you know, that first year of, his, of Trump's four-year presidency, you know, there were a lot of police calls to Thanksgiving events, right? Because of, I voted for Trump, you didn't vote for Trump, and etc. I voted for Hillary, you didn't vote for Hillary. I voted for Trump, you voted for Hillary. And all these arguments, I mean, oh yeah, I, mean, I don't agree with everything Trump said or did or, you know, whatnot. Didn't say, didn't do, when he did it, when he said it. Maybe that was, I, I agree with something that he said, but maybe it's like, um, maybe you could have said it over maybe later, or maybe you could have said it earlier, whatnot. But yeah, he just, he, he just spoke up there about the nation being divided, and you know, it's probably going to be divided um, for a long time. It's always been like that to an extent, but in some ways, it's just like, we're divided. And Trump, in some ways, well, but it's a fact, he went like this, and now we're divided this much, or that much, or whatnot. So much worse, uh, farther apart now. But, well, um, I have a feeling that, and the police riots, riots against the police, fuck the police, whatnot. You know, I think it's just going to get worse, but that's just me. But you know, Tom, he's spitting facts. He's with the faith world, which I love. I mean, I love speed. Tom just going hardcore on it like he usually does. Freaking love this song. Wow, 6.2 million views already. Anyway, you know what? Let's get back into Tom and Tom fake world. Speak, speaking the truth. They're underfunded already. They're way too busy to work. Order food and call the cops. See what reaches you first. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the defund the police. The defund the police. Defund the police. You know, it, stop it. Stop talking about the defund the police. I mean, not all cops are bad. At, you know, there's... You know, okay, and I mean, even if the, if the murder, oh, well, actually, no. Even if an event of someone dying was justified, and they were a minority, wait, no. In our streets, and it's just getting worse. I'm screaming, beep on the police, yeah. Okay, yeah. Beep on the police and everything, you know. What? Well, order food, uh, call the cops, right? See which one comes to your home first. Well, yeah, with the defund the police, it's kind of turning into that. That's true. But like I said, what, like what I was trying to say, um, I have a feeling, I don't know when, but eventually, imagine these police protests, right, and inequality protests, you know, which some of it is justified, some of it's, also a lot of it's not. But the media is driving it because, you know, they focus on what sells, they're about this, right, money, um, I have a feeling that eventually it, sooner than you think, imagine these protests across all 50 states. Mark my words. These protests are just going to get worse. And he's spitting the facts. Speaking the truth. I mean, it, every single song he's done, he speaks the truth. I love it. I mean, I, I love the song. It, it, he outed himself again with this song and then canceled. His song canceled. That was freaking dope, too. Just, and in a lot of ways, he outed himself from his last song, Fake Book. Too, with the cancel. It's just, Tom, you're a legend. You're a legend. That's all I'm going to say. You're a legend. Genius for sure. They're underfunded already. They're way too busy to work. Order food and call the cops. See what reaches you first. True. So, so, ended. That's a line itself. That was a strategy to make us think they were trying to help. They knew that racism was hot and they designed it itself. We buy every single box and divide us ourselves. Yes. Segregation it ended, but it didn't really. Uh, yeah, in some ways that is, well, yeah, it's that, to an extent, that is true. Yeah, so I, yeah, Tom, you're right. But also, it's also turned into, um, like I said before, everything's racist. Oh. You said no to taking a date with me, 
and I'm a minority, so you're racist, and what not? You know, etc. Everything's racist. Everyone's pulling the fucking race card. And lately, it's well for a while, and it's getting worse in many ways. And some of it's justified. It's like, yeah, I was justified. I understand the anger. And then it's like, hello, no, it was justified. Go back home. Go back to work. Go away. But no. It is what it is, and it's, well, it's messed up. Wow, big woke. And the beat on this song is just, bam, 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 bam. I, oh, God. Tom, like I said, I can't really truly have a baby with one of your songs. I love every single one of your songs. Oh, my gosh. You know, you, you, you do a song, and it's, you do a song that's really funny, like, I don't drink. Oh, my God, that song's freaking hilarious. And then you do with Mad Child Dope, uh, Dopest Rappers Under I mean, uh, Drug, uh, Dopest Rappers Under God, which was freaking, I mean, you go hardcore about, and when you rap about Gucci. I, <laughs> who does that? Tom McDonald does that. Uh, Tom, you're, Tom, you are just talent. Talent. Talent, my friend. Talent. Talented. Care about your foot wings. Go. Big woke. So they be so. Say woke. Say so. Say so. Big woke. They don't care about your feelings. You use violence to try and get. Wait. And then. Saying you're a virgin, even though you slept with the football team. Wait. Okay, I got that part, but wait. Okay, yeah, violence for peace. Sleeping with the football team and saying you're still a virgin. Same thing. Doesn't work. But, um,. You know, like I said before, the feeling thing, you know, I think that it's going to get worse. And honestly, these protests, just like I said, sooner than you, than you think, these protests are going to spread across all 50 states. Somebody's going to say something about something. And somebody's going to catch on to what they said. And maybe it'll be Tom McDonald. Uh, maybe it'll be someone else. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll be Ice Cube, maybe it'll be uh, Dax, something, you know? And then somebody's going to take that song and verify what they said. Or maybe more than one person, whatnot, or something, or verify whatever this, this person who uploaded it and exposed it, it. Verify what they said, and I, honestly, I think stuff's going to hit the fan, and these protests are going to spread across all 50 states. Eventually, sooner than you think. Is that a good thing? Well, from what I'm really trying to say, though, I uh, yes, but no at the same time. But, hey, Tommy's just freaking fake woke. Um, I think what that's trying to say is, like, you woke up, but you're not really. You're not actually woken up to the truth. And that's why he called his song Fake Woke. Maybe. I might be wrong. Um, but I mean, I get what he's, he, what he's saying here. Um, it's just, I mean, the beat, the, the flow, this, the, the quality of the video is just up there. Man, it's just the bars are up there. The message, it's just 100% spit true. <laughs> you know? Always makes the purchase, but you and I cannot afford it. Our democracy is worth it. If a man has mental illness, call him crazy, stay silently. But not just going crazy, we accept it as society. If a human, so if a man or a woman, you know, whatnot, if an individual is crazy, we call it mental illness. But if the crazy, but if the world, but if the whole country is going crazy, we accept it as normal, basically. Tom, 
You just hit the, dude, you just threw that freaking dart, you just hit the bullseye. Freaking, you just bullseye that, 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 right there is 100% truth. Thank you, Tom. I, you know what? I'm sure all the people who are actually remotely sane in this world totally agree with what you just said, and I'm one of them. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. We accept it as normal when the whole country's going crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you. I love it. Wow. Tom, that's an interesting pausing position. Tom, I love the grill. I love the lingage on the teeth. Man. Tom, are those real diamonds? Well, knowing Tom, they, well, they probably are. Yeah, they're probably real diamonds. Okay, well, yeah, true. Oh, somebody wants me here. Take a pill. Oh, take a pill. Oh, you know, okay. And there's a whole bunch of stuff where people are being misdiagnosed or falsely diagnosed. You know? Oh, take a pill. We're over pilling ourselves. America is, you know? And, you know, the kids are seeing all this stuff, you know? They're seeing how these celebrities are dressed. They're, you know, like, oh, it's so sexy to be skinny because that's what the media plays. They're thinking it's actually unhealthy and unattractive. I mean, I actually like some drunken, I actually like some, like a girl with some meat on her bum, okay? I don't want to go get a skeleton. Pretty sure you don't. I mean, I'm sure a girl doesn't want to go date a guy who's all skeleton too, you know, and help you. I mean, me, when I was a kid, I mean, I was on these pills and everything, and it, um, now that I'm with this doctor now, he, uh, well, actually, I changed doctors, but my first adult doctor, he said, why the heck were you on these pills if you need, you're like nowhere near the level of where you should have been put on these pills. For the severity of it, you're nowhere near that severity of it, and it was an appetite depressant as well as a depressant on making it hard for me to gain weight. Me, at like 17, I was pretty much skin and bones. I mean, I'm still uh, skinny, you know, but uh, I'm a lot healthier now. But it's like, oh, you're too fat. Take a drug. Take a pill. You know, like I said, I like a girl with some meat on her bones. I don't want to go dating a toothpick. And I'm sure girls don't want to go Gay a guy who's a toothpick either. Trust me, I mean me. I was worse than a toothpick. Like I said, I was worse than a toothpick. For our safety, I'll tell you what it really is. Removing information that empowers all the citizens. The truth doesn't damage points of view that are legitimate. The trying to change the amen. The wait, the truth doesn't the idiots, they for our safety. I'll tell you what it really is. Removing information that empowers all the citizens. The True. Spot on, thank you. How do we have to make How do we make Wow. Thank you, Tom. I I I looked at me, there's no more prayer in school because of that. Well, that bitch. Freaking uh and went up all the way to the Supreme Court, you know, and now, oh, I don't want to say the Pledge of Allegiance stuff, and you can be exempt of it because it says one nation under God. In fact, they want to take the, you know, the money? You know, for a while, but they want to take the, in God we trust off. And, well, actually, another thing, though, too, um, maybe, actually, maybe I want to, I actually agree with this to an extent. I think it would be cool if maybe we took Alexander Hamilton out and we put uh, uh, Harriet in place of him on the bill, you know, um, on like 20, the lady who went and escorted um, slaves up north, you know, which was actually a really phenomenal movie. I mean, that I totally agree with to an extent. Actually, I, I actually, that part, I already knew it was coming eventually. Yeah, it's just, um, in fact, honestly, I think eventually someone's going to speak up, which I think is going to be complete bullcrap. Oh, my God. 
the name Washington is racist. We need to go change the name of Washington County, Oregon, because it's racist, because George Washington owns slaves. And we all need to get the state of Washington to freaking change the name because it owns slaves. In fact, we need to go change the name of the, U of the United States capital of Washington, D.C., because it's racist. Well, you know, that right there is just crazy, what I just said. Seriously. That's crazy. You know what that's like? Like I said before in another video, why don't you go tell Charles Barkley and Danville Washington to go change their last name? Because they're named after slave owners. You know what they're probably gonna just, you know what they're probably gonna say? They're gonna go say go screw yourself. Yeah. Some of it I agree with and I understand and some of it I support. But then it's like the other ninety eight percent of it is like it's crazy and Tom's saying this is crazy. That's what Tom's saying. It's it's crazy. Everyone's fake woke. You're not woken up. You're being brainwashed. You're being freaking uh deluded and <laughs> unaware because you're sucked into your phone, you're unaware of the truth around you. And the bull crap and etc. And that's what Tom's saying. For the strength to keep playing, we should to get ahead and then we ask for forgiveness. True, you know, we used to say, you know we used to say legitimate prayers, you know, and ask God for legitimate strength, you know, and endurance and help us pull through hard times and now we're doing a shortcut and not doing the right thing and then ask God for, for forgiveness. That's what it's turned into in a lot of ways and you know, well, you know, my dad said one time, you know, especially nowadays, like the marriages, you know, you, you meet someone, it's all good, you know, you jump in the hay, you jump in the sack, you get married, five years go by, you wake up, what the hell did I do, and then you get divorced. You know, there is no room for, in, in some ways, there is no more room for God in this Secular world, this, especially in the United States, this secular world of the United States, and throughout the rest of the world, there's no more room for God. We're doing things are wrong repeatedly, and we're just asking for forgiveness, and, we, and then we move on. We're not asking, we're not seeking legitimate, true, uh, we're not actually saying we're sorry when we're saying we're sorry when we're not, and that's what Tom just said. It, and we're fake woke. Be the most righteous of fights, but these days it feels like they secretly hate guys. Feminism? Yeah, true. For a week and don't die. Just kidding. Whoa, what? <laughs> wow, feminism used to be the most righteous of fights. You know, um, 20, 30, 40 years ago, 50, 100 years ago, yeah, with the women's suffrage movement, with the, giving the women the right to vote, absolutely true. That It's totally different nowadays, and it's, a lot of it bullcrap. It's like, no, that's not what the fem movement is. It's yeah, that's what it might have turned into, but it it's bullshit. And then he just said, I don't well, trust any buddy who bleeds for a week and doesn't die. I'm just kidding, but then he says, I'm just kidding. Tom, um, he's got a point. America, world, he's got a point right there. It's just like seriously. Seriously. Yeah. Tom's just spitting bars. The bars are up. He's spitting the truth. Fake woke. Tom, um, it's just... Man, my lip... You know what? I can't say I truly have a favorite Tom McConnell song. I love every single one of his songs. Um, you know, there is this one song by Tom McConnell that I've been trying to hunt down, but I can't. I don't... Apparently, you can get it on an album and stuff, but I don't think he's ever done a music video on it. But I've looked at the lyrics. On like lyrics A to Z, and then I listen to the song by them. It's called Bully. Oh my god, that song is so dope. Tom, I would, I, Tom, please, for your fans, please do a Bully music video. Please, please, do a Bully music video of your song Bully. Please, Tom. Now let's get back into this. The song's almost over. <laughs> Man, fake woke. Tom's just right up there. I don't trust a woman. I don't trust anybody who bleeds for a week and doesn't die. I'm just kidding now. <laughs> but everything else that I said is right. True. Hey, so, 
everything else I said is right, though. I agree. I agree with everything he just said. And we all fake quote. And once again, yep, he de dedicated it to Nova. Love you, Tom. Tom, um, you know, after this COVID thing, when the heck are you going to marry her? Seriously, we, we want to know. When are you going to marry Nova? That's what we want to know. Yeah, when are you going to marry Nova? Um, that's what we want to know. When is Tom going to marry Nova? Well, hopefully after this COVID thing goes over with. Hopefully as soon as possible. Maybe he'll put on a video announcing that they're getting engaged and that they're finally married. Seriously, it's just damn. And once again, like I said, he just dedicated this video to um, thanks for making the video and gave credit to Nova like he always does. Ever since ever since he's done his ever since he's done his first video. That he had her do, you know? And I think that's excellent teamwork. I mean, he does her videos when she does a song, and he and Nova does Tom's videos when he does a song, you know? Which, man, Tom, Nova, you guys seem like a wonderful couple. I love you guys, though. Anyway, this was uh, Tom McDonald, Fake Well Reaction Video by Triple H Gamer here. Smack that like button. Feel free to uh, share my uh, videos. I'm also, I do video game footage and things. Subscribe. And share my videos by uh, social media. Anyway, I'm out. Privileged Gamer, out. Tom McDonald, Fake Woke. Love it.